In this video, we will discuss personal markers. Every operational system using ATAC SIV creates its own icon called a self marker located at the map location where it is generating PLI. Each user sees all other users' self markers as buddy icons and only himself as a self marker. These markers provide accurate position location information and are auto updating icons. These markers require an operational network and GPS signal to work as designed. The self marker is an arrowhead or chevron shaped icon on the map screen. When first starting a tech SIV application, in some instances, the system may not be generating a good GPS signal. It will populate a GPS warning in red inside the PLI box saying no GPS. The user can place a temporary self marker location by tapping on the PLI box, then subsequently tapping on the desired location on the map screen. The self marker will auto update to a GPS reference location once a good GPS signal is received. Tapping on the self marker generates a radio menu directly over the marker and also an information field in the upper right hand of the map screen. The radio menu provides specific tools configured to use with that marker. These menu options are shown here. The GPS error halo. This toggles on and off a ring around your self marker that attempts to simulate the amount of accuracy the GPS is receiving. Object pair. This is a simple feature that measures from any tap location on your map screen back to the self marker with distance and direction information. Tap on the object pair. Tap on a desired marker or location on the map screen to display a range of bearing line. This tool has its own radial menu and can be adjusted to the user's preference. Reds and MSDs. This tool is for use in combat only and will not be covered in this block of instruction. The lock on self. This functions the same as the icon in the toolbar as discussed during the overview block of instructions. Tracking breadcrumbs. This creates a digital auto trail of whatever path the user has taken while this feature is activated. Tap on the breadcrumbs. As you can see, this tool generates small triangles depicting the user's previous locations traveled. This tool will be covered in detail during the track history block of instructions. Place marker. This places one of the point dropper type markers on the screen. Unknown object, neutral object, red object, and friendly object. Long pressing on the place marker will show an additional menu. Tap on the desired object and this tool will place that object directly beneath the self marker. This will automatically open a specific object radial menu. For the purpose of this video, we will delete this object as it is covered in the point dropper block of instruction. Detail sheet. This opens a side window with additional information about the marker. As you can see, this shows the roll, ATAC version, no type, and battery life. Swiping the window left will display location information. Swiping left again will allow the user to geochat message or send data packages to the selected marker. Tap the persistent back and then tap the self marker. Compass rows. This overlays a digital compass on the map screen. To toggle on and off, simply tap the compass rows. When it is off, it will no longer be highlighted blue. Polar plot. This will take distance and direction input and plot marker at that location. The user can input specific bearing, range, and inclination data corresponding to the desired point. Beside each input, the user may also designate the desired units of measure. Tap on the place point drop down menu. This gives the user an option to place a point such as place marker or create a range bearing line or do both. Tap on both. Below the place point menu, the user may select which place marker to use. Tap on both. Both the place marker and range and bearing line will have their own radial menu. Find adjust. This creates a digital magnifying lens at the self marker, which allows the user to find adjust the location of the marker. If the self marker is receiving GPS, then this feature is grayed out and not available. The next marker we will cover is the buddy icon. The buddy icon is a friendly four circular icon that indicates the location of those in your network. Buddy icons change to gray if the icon is not updated as PLI and reporting into the network in a prescribed amount of time. This is known as an icon becoming stale and can mean several things like the user has turned off his system, the user has left the network or has connectivity issues, or the user is having GPS issues. 
Tapping on a buddy icon also generates a radio menu. The radio menu for the buddy icon shown here has many similar tools as the self-marker radio menu. The contact card. Long pressing on the contact card gives the user an option to either geochat, tac chat, or send a data package to that user. These tools will be covered in detail in their specific video blocks of instructions. The detail sheet. This shows the same information as the self-marker details sheet, but is specific to the selected user. These markers populate updated PLI automatically if in a network, so a common operating picture is achieved across all equipped users. This concludes the personal markers block of instructions.